Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you all the uh, Nintendo consoles that I own for now. I do have a Wii and a Wii U. That's out in my living room, so here we go. Firstly off here, the Super Nintendo. My favorite one. Just like that. This is not the model where if you press down and there's a, uh, what is it? What is that called? This one just came with like a sticker on it. It comes like right here. And it says just do not remove the cartridge like when the game's put in. In the older versions, if you put one in, you try to eject it, it wouldn't work. You can work it on this. Alright, inside, ah, uh, can't see it very well. Oh god. Inside here. See them tab that tab right there? It's right there. I cut mine out. Anyway, you can play Super Famicom games if you got those out. Alright. There was a Super Nintendo, and it plays like a whole bunch of games, so, there you go. Secondly, a bunch of people do not like this console. This is the uh, N64. Came out second. As you can see, it says Nintendo 64 right there. And, um... Mine's kind of dirty inside there, if you look. Bunch of dirt. Inside of the uh, cartridge plate. How am I going to do this? There's these down here. And down here, it's kind of messy. Well, actually, it's not. If you cut out that square down there, and there's the other side, you can play Japanese ones. That's all they do. Last but not least, what you can do, take like a pencil or screwdriver. You do. Here's the uh, expansion pack. Memory pack. <laughs> Pencil's not working right now. So I'll just get one of my uh, screwdriver. Got like plenty of them on there. It's got bits and everything on there. I do need a game bit though. It'd be good. Alright, let me just set this down. Any size is just good as long as you can get it out. Alright. Alright, stick it in there. Right there. Just pull up. Just come out like that. Got your, um, Nintendo, uh, this is the jumper pack. You can see jumper pack right there. And inside of here, just another car cartridge slot. It's like, just another cartridge slot down in there. You can see it. And yeah. Pretty much it for the N64. What you do, put this back in because it, I don't think it'll play without one of those. And yeah, and you probably you have seen the N64 controller. It looks awkward to some people, but to me, it actually really, really feels good. Moving on to the GameCube. Um, yeah. Probably my lo most. I mean, I don't hate it as much as I hate the uh, Wii, but it's okay. This uh, is one of the wireless controllers, not licensed by Nintendo. And um, this isn't either. You can just take this out. I uh, got two memory cards. This one's actually a Nintendo one. It's for Animal Crossing.
Graphics by Anti. Anti. All right. So what you do? So here's the power button. Reset button. And this is the eject button. Should open. Like that. Um. Here's the laser right here. Do not touch that. This one's pretty dirty. I gotta clean it around the uh, disc area, which is dangerous. But, yeah. And if you, um, it's got like a handle on the back. And if you turn it upside down, back here, there should be like a little tab. Lift that up. I think that's the Game Boy adapter. Or this one might be. See? Is this one? Lift that up. There's that one. What is that? Oh, here's another one. Huh. Well, there's all the uh, bottom things. It takes the same thing, just a different power port. Is that RGB? No. Just a different power port takes AV video just from like the 64 and the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Dirty in there. Well, nope. I think Nintendo, what they were doing with like the purple version and the black version is the purple version kind of looked like a little kid thing. The black one went for the, like the adults. I don't know. Closest bet I'll get to. Well, it shows that, and like, if you're blind, you can feel for it. Two, three, and four. They did that on the, uh, I believe they did it on the N64 too, yeah. Well, Nintendo GameCube, Super Nintendo, and N64. See you guys in the next video, and bye-bye.